My name is Alexander Zotek. I've been with the school since I was five years old. I remember the first day of pre-K even, I can remember it. I walked in the room, I didn't know anybody, and yet there was two, two kids who were playing with like wood blocks, and, they, and I went to go sit down with them, and they were very inviting and very nice to me, and they happen to be two of my best friends still to this day in high school. I've um, been into music since I was 10 years old. I started playing drums around then. About two years into my drum lessons, I started to get, get really into bass. And that's why I started taking the lessons for that. And I got my first start performing in a musical at the SF Playhouse. It was a three and a half month run of cabaret. The drum position was offered to my drum teacher, but um, he told the director that um, he would love to do it, but he doesn't have enough time, but that he had a student who might want to do it. So um, I auditioned and got the part. It was the summer between seventh and eighth grade when I did this musical. Not only was it a professional, professional theater company, professional cast, but also a very risque play. I mean, it's cabaret. I, I don't want to say inappropriate for my age, but it's, it's, <laughs> it's, it's, it's definitely provocative subject matter. Doing cabaret, that really got me used to performing and comfortable performing in front of an audience. And I think that's what really got me hooked on, on performing. About two years later in freshman year, I met a friend who was, in, who was already in a band and they, they needed a bass player. So then he invited me to one of their rehearsals. Ever since that rehearsal, I've been in the same band uh, for the past four years. Our band name is the St. Valentines. We've performed at um, Yoshi's in Oakland, uh, the Great American Music Hall. There's a group of about 15 students that the school took to India and Nepal for two weeks in junior year. It was absolutely amazing. The biggest moment in, in India for me was we went to Varanasi, which is basically the cultural capital of northern India. And at five in the morning, we went on a boat ride on the Ganges with three Indian classical musicians playing as the sun rose. And that was probably one of the most amazing extremely spiritual moments of my life. I just somehow felt like really connected to India, connected to the world, connected to everybody. The next four years, I'm gonna be living in New Orleans for college. And I'm super excited about that because uh, music is such a central aspect to the city, New Orleans. And so I think that's gonna be really great for me to be around music 24 seven.